And now if I go to swipe over, you guys can see that I do have Cydia on my device. What's up guys and welcome back to the Hacked Bot. Now guys, it is finally here. And by it, I mean the iOS 10.2 jailbreak. Oh my gosh, I didn't think it would be coming this soon, but it's here. We got the first beta, just like with the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak, same precautions. So first off, again, this jailbreak is for iOS 10.2. So guys, right now, I want you guys to update or downgrade to iOS 10.2, but only if you're on one of these devices. And these devices are the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone SE, and the iPad. Pro. These are devices that support the iOS 10.2 jailbreak as of now. But what about the iPhone 7? If you're on the iPhone 7, stay on iOS 10.1.1. But if you accidentally did update, go back to 10.2, not 10.2.1. 10.2. All of this information is from Luca Tedesco, so it's 100% trusted and confirmed. But yeah, guys, again, the compatible devices are the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone SE, and the iPad Pro. So if you do have one of those devices, I will be showing guys how to update or downgrade to iOS 10.2. And guys, you want to do this quick because Apple, again, will stop signing iOS 10.2 very, very soon. So if you want to jailbreak, do it now. All right, so instead of jailbreaking my iPhone, I'm I'm going to be jailbreaking my iPad Pro. Now, this is going to be really cool. I'm not really sure how Cydia will look on this massive device. And so, yeah, I'm going to be jailbreaking my iPad Pro for the first time. I'm just so excited. I wiped off the dust and also updated it to iOS 10.2. So, yeah, I'm going to be jailbreaking my iPad Pro. We'll be jailbreaking the iPhone 6S later. Now, first, how do you downgrade? Well, first, you want to plug your device into your computer just like this. Okay, now to downgrade or update your device to iOS 10.2. Two, what you want to do is get on a computer and open up your internet browser and head to this website. The link will be down below in the decide the description. Once here, you guys can see a bunch of different products of iOS. So we got the iPhone, iPad, iPod. Go ahead and select your device. So I have the iPad. So I would go ahead and click on there. And here we can go and select the device. So there's the iPad Pro 12.9 inch cellular. And there's a Wi Fi model. So I did have the Wi Fi model. So click on this one. And all you want to do is click on iOS 10.2 and download this file. So click on download and you are done with that part. Once it's fully downloaded, you will have the file. So go ahead and open up iTunes, click on your device and here where it says update or restore, you want to hold down the command button on Mac. You can do either one, but I personally prefer restore because it has less bugs, but you can update if you want to. That will keep all your data. But guys, just in case, back up all of your data so you don't lose anything. So on Mac, hold on to the option key and on Windows, hold on to the shift key. So I am on Mac, so I'm gonna hold on the option key and click on update and this should pop up right here go to wherever you save the file click on the file click on open and then click on update once you do that we'll go ahead and downgrade or update your device to ios 10.2 all you have to do from there is wait this process does take about 10 to 15 minutes and that is basically as simple as that and guys again apple is not going to be signing ios 10.2 forever so you do have to do this quick before apple does stop signing it and how do you know if apple stopped signing ios 10.2 well again just go back over here and if it's green that means apple is still signing it. Now, if it's in red over here and it's under unsigned IPSWs, then that means Apple unfortunately has stopped signing. But right now, we're good. Do this quick. All right, so now let's get to the fun part, jailbreaking. Now, guys, this is super easy to do. And like with last time, you'll be needing two things. So go to our browser. The links will be down below inside the description. First is Cydia Impactor. Now, over here, as you guys can see, we have Cydia Impactor for Mac OS X, Windows, Linux 32-bit, and Linux 64-bit. Go ahead and download it for your computer. I have Mac, so I downloaded it for Mac and installed it. All you do is double click, drag and drag and you're good to go. Now on Windows, you only need to extract it. And to extract it, I would recommend a program called WinRAR, or you can also use a program called 7-Zip. Either one works. But yeah, on Windows, you do need to extract it manually, just using one of those programs. Still very simple. And the second thing you need is this jailbreak right here. This is the actual jailbreak. So on the top right of here, let me go and zoom in. You guys can see that we have Beta 1, and again, it's for the iPhone 6S, SE, and the iPad Pro. So click on this blue link, and we'll go ahead and start the download. So of course, save it to your desktop. Top. I'm gonna save it right there and we are basically done. It was a quick download. Now you can exit out of Chrome or whatever browser you're using. And what you want to do now 
Now it's open up Cydia Impactor. Now once Cydia Impactor is open, you want to make sure that your device does show up inside here. So there is my device right there. As you guys can see, it's not blank. So make sure your device does show up inside here. And what you want to do is bring over the jailbreak file that we downloaded. And there it is. And all you want to do is drag and drop it on top of Cydia Impactor. Just like this. Now go to enter your Apple ID. Password, hit OK again, and it will take about a second. All right, so that was quick, and it's already done. Here on my iPad, you guys can see now we do have a different application right there. And by the way, if you do get any errors with City Impactor, the first one is a password one. So if you type in your password or Apple ID incorrectly, you will get an error. But if you type everything in correctly and still get an error, then that means your Apple ID has two-step verification. So you want to disable that, and I will put a link down below in the description on how to disable two-step verification on your Apple ID. So you can either disable two-step verification or just create a new apple id but anyways once you're done go to x out of impactor and you guys are good to go all right so now back to our ipad we have the magnificent yalu jailbreak app on our home screen so as you guys see right here it says yalu 10.2 and has like a face on it go to tap on it and of course you do need to trust it because it says untrusted enterprise developer so tap on cancel and what you want to do is go into your settings application settings this ipad is so massive i have never really made a video on this but general and once in general scroll all the way down until you find device management or profile and device management so go to tap right here you guys will see the apple id that you use going to tap on your apple id and all you got to do is now is trust it so tap on the blue trust button and then the pop-up tap on trust once more now that is trusted we can go ahead and open up the application perfectly fine and watch this guys now you got to do is tap on okay may slaughter device now this is kind of like a beta joke break actually it is a beta so of course it will be kind of glitchy but let's go to tap on go and all you have to do now is wait so it's gonna wait and if you get this message that's perfectly normal just tap on done and it's gonna wait some more all right now guys that part may take some time but what will happen is your device will go black then it'll restart and that is perfectly normal that's what it's supposed to do and the key is just being patient it may seem like your device is frozen but really what it's doing is running the jailbreak in the background and that takes some time but once you're done, once you're back at your lock screen, go ahead and unlock it. I'm still using slide to unlock, but anyways, once you're in, you want to go ahead and swipe over. And once you look at that, we don't have City on our device, so that's perfectly normal. What you want to do is just run it again, and same thing, just hit go, and just wait. Don't touch your device, failed retry. Let's go ahead and just tap on this. Again, this is very buggy. There's some glitches, and again, our device will go black, and we're back. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock again, uh, not slide to unlock, so... Okay, that's a good sign it kind of froze that that's a good sign that basically means it's putting the icon on your home screen so swipe over all right so again guys i just cannot emphasize just how buggy this joke brick is but again that is to be expected this is a beta so don't expect to be perfect it might not work for you and it's not working on my ipad pro for some reason now look at this guys i don't have any city on my device if I go in and bring up this application again it just says already joe broken and i tried multiple times and i couldn't get it to work on my iPad Pro, sadly. Uh, but I did the same process on my 6S, and it took about three times for it to work. And now if I go to swipe over, you guys can see that I do have Cydia on my device. But again, the jailbreak is super buggy. It might not work for everyone. And once the full jailbreak is released, it will support more devices, and it will be less buggy. So more 64-bit devices will be supported. All right, so there you go, guys. Cydia is working, as you guys can see. And yeah, sad that I couldn't get it working on my iPad Pro right here. Man, that's so... Ah, I was so excited. <laughs> All right, maybe when the final release is out. But for now, I'll just wait till they release more bug fixes and that sort of stuff. So now you can enjoy all your favorite Cydia tweaks, but do download with caution as not all of them are working and tested. But again, guys, you can wait for the final release. Just make sure that you do downgrade or update to iOS 10.2 if you are on the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone SE, iPad Pro, or any other 64-bit device that the jailbreak will support in the future. But yeah, at least I got my iPhone 6S jailbroken, and the iPhone 6S is almost guaranteed to work. It has worked for so many people, so you don't really have to worry about that, but if you have the iPad Pro, then you might have to worry that it will not work because it didn't work for me. Don't know about the iPhone SE. I haven't tried that device myself, but the iPhone 6S, glad to say that it is working. All right, so as always, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope that you got this jailbreak to work. Again, this is a beta, bugs are no surprise. But anyways, hit that like button for more content and be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. You really definitely don't want to. And yeah, guys, peace out.